All right, so today I wanna to talk a little bit about some beginner art tips that will help you become an artist or help you out if you're a beginner artist and you're not really sure what direction to go. These are my tips that will help you get into art and stick to it. So the first tip that I'm gonna give is to obtain some tools that you really enjoy using. So get tools that you absolutely love, be it traditional tools, digital tools, the, the paper you're using, the tablet you're using, the setup that you're at, make sure that these tools are something you will enjoy using on a daily basis. As a beginner artist, I think using tools that you enjoy and align with will really help you stick to it and grow as an artist. So in terms of traditional art, you can go ahead and look into different types of pen, pencil, ink, marker, sketchbooks, paper, uh, paints, watercolors, or acrylics, or, or I mean, there's so many choices. And then within those categories, there are different types of brands that you can find. So I would say go to an art store, try out different materials, try out different papers, pens, pencils, paints, everything that you can, try it out and see if it's something that you could see yourself using all the time. If you're someone who doesn't have a lot of time to invest into your art practice, it might be a good idea to look into tools that don't require a lot of fuss. So like a sketchbook and pencils, I think is the easiest thing that you can use or pens, something like that. Using watercolors or paints that's a little bit more fussy and something that's going to take a little more setup and um, preparation. But, you know, depending on who you are and what you want to do as an artist, you know, you just need to pick the tools that are going to be appropriate for you. So once you, you get those tools, just make sure that you enjoy using them. Make sure that the, the paper is something that you really love using, that you love the feel of it, you know that you're going to reach for that sketchbook every time that you have an idea and you want to draw. So yeah, just obtain the tools you, you love and keep to it, keep using those. In terms of digital art, I would say, you know, look into tablets or tablet setups that will be appropriate for you. So. Not everybody is going to have the budget for a screen tablet or an iPad Pro, um, but it might be a good idea to try out these tools if you get the opportunity and see if they work for you. Um, also, you know, using a non-screen tablet, figuring out what size that you like to use um, may be a good idea so that you are always reaching for that tablet and you're encouraging yourself to continue practicing and working. A smaller tablet is definitely best for portability, but a larger tablet might be what you need to make the kind of work that you want or feel comfortable when you sit down and work on your, your digital tablet. The next tip that I'm going to talk about is to write down or quickly sketch ideas to reference later. I always have scraps of note paper and notepads that are specifically for writing down or quickly sketching any sort of art ideas that come to me so that I can reference those later when I'm hurting for an idea. I can always go to those notebooks and kind of skim my lists or look at old sketches. When I look through these references, I always find something that I want to work on in that moment. And having the ability to just go to those notes instead of sitting down and trying to generate ideas on the spot, I'm always very excited to have the option and then sometimes I even think of new ideas as I'm skimming. So it's really a nice thing to have is just the sort of personal library. It's kind of like journaling, it's kind of just like an idea dump or brain dump. It takes a lot of the fuss out of idea building and just allows you to be creative in the moment that you feel like it. 
All right, the third thing I'm going to talk about is to always love your work and always have faith in your improvement. So always give yourself credit for just showing up and making drawings and, you know, telling, tell yourself that you deserve these moments to create whatever you want in your sketchbook or create whatever you want in your digital art space. Love what you make. These moments are special and if we continue to put ourselves down during the process of improvement, it's going to be very, very hard to lift ourselves up and to build the confidence that's necessary to grow as an artist. So just always love your work, always appreciate the fact that you're, you're working towards something, anything, and have faith that a continued practice will improve your work and will bring you to the place that you want to be as an artist. Right, the fourth thing that I want to talk about is that you should always draw the things that you enjoy. So basically, you do you. Make sure that you're not being pressured in one way or another by family, friends, social media, the outside world. All, all of these things can sort of put pressure on artists to say, oh, well, certain things are not important, so you shouldn't draw them, or certain things are not interesting enough, so you shouldn't draw them. I think we should all take a step back, especially as a beginner artist, and recognize that although being a well-rounded artist and drawing lots and lots of different inspiration and drawing lots of objects and things in our world is good for us and will build our skills, you should really be excited about what you're working on. And as a beginner, I think drawing whatever you like is probably the best thing that you can do to build your skills and to build the motor skills that you need to be able to just draw what you want. So draw the things you like, draw the things that inspire you. Go into a drawing session and just make whatever you want. This is your free moment, you know? Do the things you like to do and get enjoyment from it. The next point that I want to talk about is the fact that you don't always need a purpose or goal to draw or be an artist. So sometimes creating art with a specific meaning behind it can be really motivating. Like that can be what drives you to make your work. But something that is important to note is that we don't necessarily need meaning and we don't need purpose or a goal to just get started and draw. Um, I think one of the things when you're beginning is you're drawing and you're starting to realize what means something to you as an artist. And the only way that we can figure this out is just by drawing and making work. So you know, sketch and draw and let it reveal things about who you are and what you care about. This process in and of itself can reveal what our goals are over time. If you don't have a purpose or goal, it doesn't mean that you're not an artist. Artists determine their goals and how the, they will execute them in the future by making work. So, you know, just make a lot of stuff. Let yourself draw from the sources that inspire you and trust yourself, have patience, and, you know, continue to get motivation from the things around you. You don't always need a goal to get started. You don't always need some deep meaning behind what you make. <laughs> All right, another art tip which I always think about when I'm working on a new drawing is that you need to activate the blank page just to get going. So the blank page, it can be really, really daunting and can feel overwhelming to think, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm going to have to fill this whole thing up. Like, what do I do? What if I mess up? What if I make a mistake? No, no, no. Just go in, make marks, figure out how things are going to work for you with with the, the materials that you're using and take, take the blank page page away you know just fill it up with something you always have more blank pages if you need them 
So just fill them up, do what you like, have fun, and get messy. All right, and the last tip that I'm gonna talk about is to ditch perfection because we as humans are perpetually imperfect beings. Perfection is in a lot of ways unattainable and I think the closest that you'll get to perfection is just by starting and continuing on a regular practice. So ditch the idea that your drawings or anything that you make has to be perfect. You're gonna figure out how to make it as perfect as it can be, but the only way you can do that is by getting in there and making stuff. So yeah, embrace your imperfections, embrace the imperfections in your work and recognize that these things are always going to be informing you more about who you are as an artist and what, what you like and how you're going to approach your future art. Thank you so, so much for watching my video today. I really hope that these beginner art tips help in any way that they can. If you did like this video, please make sure that you hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure that you're subscribed and hit the bell if you want notifications. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and listening to me talk about these tips, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!